After a seven-year absence, the Belgian city of Antwerp is back on the WTA calendar. One of the diamond capitals of the world, there's a fitting prize at stake, with some of the WTA's own gems buying it out for one of the most beautiful trophies tennis has to offer. For the first time in her career, Eugenie Bouchard headlines a stellar field, which features seven of the world's top 20. Having received a buy into the second round, third seed Andrea Petkovic took on home hopeful Alison van Oitvank. But the Belgian crowd failed to inspire her early on. Petkovic dominating on all areas of the court to move to within one game of the set. Really good work on the ball there from Petkovic. She's growing now. The ground stroke game starting to find its range more often. However, Van Oitvank had other ideas, rattling off the next three games to eventually force a tie-break. I really do like that forehand of Van Oitvank. So tough to read what she's going to do with it. Does like cutting across uh, the ball, even here so going into going out on the conventional uh, contact point that she's got. Tie-break then to the side this opening set. And the home crowd really had something to cheer for with the wild card completing a remarkable turnaround to clinch the opener. How about that? Ruling set of tennis, but at the end of it, Alison van Oetvang, the wild card, the Belgian, takes it on the tie break. Nine points to seven here. 91 places separate the pair in the world rankings, but that didn't show here. Now, how about that? Superb defence and managing to nick the point in the end, Van Oitvank. Really good play again. Van Oitvank would squander eight match points, though, and Petkovic punished her to force a decider. You simply have to admire that. You have to admire both of them for the show they're putting on. That all took its toll on the Belgian as Petkovic's class began to show. Yeah. Petkovic breaks again. A really impressive win, considering what she had to do in that second set. The German with a double break of serve, handing her a lead she'd never relinquish. Securing it on a fourth match point to survive an early scare. Eight match points down, Andrea Petkovic. But she's one of the best competitors out there, and she showed it here again tonight in Antwerp. The third seed, who is first into the quarterfinals here in Antwerp. Standing between sixth seed Dominika Sibulkova and a place in round two was Katerina Bondarenko. The Ukrainian into the main draw of a premier event for the first time since spring 2012, following the birth of her child. But there was no room for sentiment from Sibulkova early on. Having wrapped up the first set 6-1, the 2014 Australian Open runner-up would break again in game two of the second. And the big hitting from the back of the court kept coming, and Renko struggling to keep pace. Delightful follow-through as well from Sibylkova, generating so much speed off the ground. Sibulkova wrapping it up in just over an hour to set up a second round meeting with the Netherlands in De Vroom. Oh. <laughs> Sibulkova has looked every inch see the player here this afternoon with a simplistic straight set victory. An hour and three minutes, 6 1, 6 2. Yeah, you know, it was my first match here, and first matches are never easy. You know, I came from Australia, this is my first match after two weeks, so. So I was feeling pretty good, but the court is a little bit different than the others, it's a little bit slower, so I was not expecting too much for myself, and it was it was quite good. Fifth seed Carla Suarez Navarro faced a tricky opponent in the shape of Camilla Georgi, and it showed in the early stages on centre court, with wild number 31 Georgi securing a double break of serve. Yeah. Yeah. Too good. The Italian closing out the opener in fitting fashion. Yeah, oh, set from his skull. That was pretty good from Camilla Giorgi. But she'd wilt in the second, with Suarez Navarro taking full advantage and eventually forcing a decider. Growing more and more into this contest, Suarez Navarro's. 
Both players held serve until game 10, and it was Georgie who blinked first. Suarez Navarro surviving an early scare to set up a second round contest with Monica Nicolescu. No such luck for home hopeful Kirsten Flipkins. The Belgian going down in straight sets to Monica Nicolescu in just over an hour and a half. That's it, it's the backhand from the Romanian Monica Nicolescu. Good enough to see her win the match for the first time in her career against Kirsten Flipkins. Elsewhere, eighth seed Karolina Pliskova dispatched Mijana Lucic Baroni. World number 247 Devroom came from behind to cause an upset and send Svetlana Peronkova crashing out. Kristina Mladenovic is also through after her opponent Silvia Sola Espinosa retired.